Up investors, don't come within the 500 feet of NEO stock. NEO delivered 44% lower car deliveries, 10,055 cars in January 2024, which is down 44% from the December numbers. Let's get right into it, what it means. Why we are seeing all these reports that stop, do not invest in NEO. What is the reality? Let's talk about pros and cons. Welcome to Moneymakers channel, ladies and gentlemen, and NEO investors. As you already know, I'm pro NEO. I love NEO as a company, but the stock is not doing so great. NEO was down 2.98% on Friday. For last five days, we are down 9%, give or take. Last one month, we are down 35%, massive, deep into the stock price. We're down 50% in last one year, which is massive. Do hit the like button because I'm going to share both pros and cons, what you want to watch out for. Can we go into the four zone? What does it mean by four zone? Can we go into the $4 zone? Because we have seen the deepest deep last week, $5.43. 52 weeks low, Your high is $16. We're not talking about can we go to $16, but we are talking about can we go to $4, can we go below $5. Ladies and gentlemen, do hit the like button. I need 100 likes because I'm going to share massive insights into NEO stock, what it is doing, what you should consider. If you already invested in NEO, what is your next step? What could be your next step, by the way? I'm not a financial advisor nor I'm a certified professional, but I do a ton of research and I like to share that back with you, give back to the community. All I ask you in return is to hit the like button. I need 100 likes. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If today is your lucky day, go click on the thanks button and help out this channel with a couple of dollars. I will really appreciate it. But likes and subscribes are for free, so I'm counting on you guys. Now think about it when we look into this kind of news. Number one, why Neo stock was down? The stock was down pretty organically. I wanted to share with you the short volume. Our short volume was 48% on Friday, before that 47%, before that 47% as well. So this is not the short sellers who is dragging the stock down. This is an organic deep into the stock price that of course helps the short sellers. But if you think about the deliveries, right? 10,055 cars were delivered in January and this type of news is kind of discouraging or frustrating. 44% down from December. So let's take a look. In December, we were high, about very close to 20,000. And right now, we are very close to 10,000. So what is going on? The beginning of the year is usually low point for the car sales, not just for NEO, in general for any car company, especially in China, due to the seasonal factor. Now, NEO's deliveries in January included 6,307 SUVs and 3,748 sedan cars. Now, if you think about, yes, from December, we dip down. In holiday season, December or Q4 is usually a high car buying volume um, and revenue for many car companies, including NEO. Now, take a look what happened in last January. So if you think about this, this is the January 2023. We we're below 10,000. Right now, we are about 10,000. So all in all, we are doing pretty good. If you see right here, NEO delivered 10,055 vehicles in January 2024, increased by 18.2% year over year. So according to this article, by the way, this is the news article from NEO.com. You can go take a look and they announced January delivery numbers and they are, they are saying that it climbed up 18%, which is true. But again, looking, looking from the standpoint from December in Q4, we are down 44%. We saw a dip in deliveries in January compared to December affected by the seasonal factors like the most of the local peers. The company delivered this, uh, uh, this uh, number, but it is up 18.21% based on this also article on CNV Post. Um, and take a look, 8506, uh, which we had a year ago. So in January 2023, we had 8,506 vehicles delivered. Now we have delivered 10,055, which is, of course, it's not a stunning number compared to 18,000. But why NEO is going down and what this article means? Stop, don't come within the 500 feet of NEO. It is hitting 52 weeks low. Now, if you think about the performance of the stock, again, I'm pro NEO. I believe in NEO as a company, but the stock is not uh, converting into money. And you make money when the stock is low, and if you buy and sell high, 
Or if you're a short seller, sell high and buy low. It depends, right? And for NEO, I know many of my viewers and subscribers, they are pro NEO, they are long in NEO, including myself. NEO stock recently hit 52 week low after Tesla cut down in price. Tesla is trying to book every single vehicle that they can get. And they want to lower the price point, they want to get all the benefits that the Fed is giving. Of course, electric vehicle is the way to go in the future, but we are not just there. We have also heard some of the concerns from uh, um, the EV owners that in freezing winter, especially in United States, they experience some battery problems. It includes the running or the charge of the battery time, as well as how far you can go with one battery full charge. And that is not a concern for NEO or Tesla, it's in general for any EV vehicle. Furthermore, speaking about talking about NEO, NEO has a surprisingly small market share in China based new energy vehicle makers. Now, it's a very subjective or relative term, surprisingly low, but you want to know that Tesla is getting more than 21-22% of the revenue from China. So they are selling in China and they're making revenue out of China. So one uh, every four car they sell, one car they sell more give or take or maybe 0 0.8, 0 0.9 cars they sell in China. China is struggling. So again, China has uh, Neo's uh, base in China and their, 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 their footprint is growing in China and they're relying on Chinese market a lot. But guess what? China is struggling from the financial standpoint, from the global economy within China standpoint, and their GDP is suffering at the moment. So I'm not surprised that why Neo is not struggle, is struggling and not thriving or fostering the way it should be. Investors shouldn't consider buying Neo just based on this article, but I'll sell, I'll share some of the upside and the pro, or, or what you should consider the positive uh, for Neo stock. For the past year, the investment in China-based electric vehicle manufacturer Neo has yielded poor results. And I agree because year to date we are down massively, 34.20% last one year, so 12 consecutive month prior to this January, so last January and this January we are down 50.49%, so we cut down in half. Uh, we should be close to $10 if we were at, at par. Right here, take a look. We were at $11.19, and right now, uh, we're down 40 or 50.49%, $5.54. Now, that does not necessarily mean that we can go back up because we have also seen kinds of the article that I shared with you that three stocks, $15 and below, predicted to be triple by 2026. And this is just within the next 12 to 24 months based on this article. Neo secures the top position in China's EV market based on effective positioning and penetration. Now, why we want to be cautious? I want to tell you that be cautious because again, this slide is pretty organic. If you take a look right here, we are also seeing that the stock declines when the market condition improves some investor information for NEO investors. Now, if you think about the volume, it's not concerning. Now, why stock is going down? A couple of things, right? One of uh, the thing is the sentiment. We saw that the numbers, the delivery numbers were not stunning, and it is at, as expected. 85, 8600 that they sold in 2023, January, compared to that, we are high, but we are massively low compared to December. What it tells me is it'll give us more growth opportunity to for NEO to showcase what they're doing great uh, during the year. So let's say in February, they all of a sudden jumps to 14, 15,000 sell, which will be a massive up and it could be a positive territory for NEO stock. But right now, we are not seeing that the momentum is converting into dollars. So I understand your concern. If you haven't clicked the like button, do click the like button because we want to share this information with more and more investors. A lot of people reached out and they're worried about where the stock is going. Can it go to $5, below $5? I'll tell you. I'll keep telling you. So you do want to watch these videos regularly. I don't really post NEO videos every day, but I post when I need, when I think there is a need to post, right? 56 million, 51 million, the volume I'm talking about, 75 million, 66 million, and our price is going down. And yesterday, on Friday, was not the best day. What can we expect in on Monday and the rest of the next week? The thing that you want to notice is right here. By the way, we are booking lower low, which is not a great sign in my personal opinion for any stock. And Neo is not an exception. 579, 562, 571, and finally, 5. 
54. And th this tells me the story that we are in the bearish market already for Neo. 579 lower low, 599 lower low, 579 lower low, even lower low, 543. And we are not able to sustain. As I mentioned, short sellers are not causing this problem. This is the organic problem that we are seeing at the moment. If you see right here the um, calls and puts, the contracts expiring on February 9th, uh, we are seeing that the calls are making lower and lower um, in terms of the making money, right? So they're not in the money. Where the puts is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. If the puts, um, if you think about the puts uh, and you buy put, you want to watch out for the stock to go low. And then that's how you make money. For calls, if you buy the stock or, or if you buy the call options or call contracts, you want the stock to go up. We are not seeing a pretty decent volume, I'll be honest, um, and open interest that we used to see in the past, in the recent past. So $2,500, $6.50. Right now we're at $5.50, which is we're talking about 20% up. But for the put, uh, we are seeing pretty good volume. Take a look right here. So everyone at $5.50, $5.450, they will, everyone will be in the money that you see right here for $6 and about. We are seeing pretty good volume uh, compared to what we see historically. It's not more than the call option, I get it. But historically, we did not really see a stronger volume in puts that we st started seeing because all these people uh, uh, that you see, $6 and above in the puts up, uh, in the puts are making money. So this is one way to think about it. But in my understanding, in my research, it's not that bad of a sentiment that people should think about, right? This is the sentiment issue right now that people are a bit scared. They don't want to get in NEO and they're burned out and it is legit because the stock is going down when the stock is not going down organically short sellers are heavily heavily shorting this stock and making this stock go down as well and the contracts puts and call is not telling us a great story either if you see at this graph level if the chart level we see that again our price point the real-time price is higher than the um, the price point that we see from the moving average the moving average 552 we are at 554 but that does not uh, that does not suffice in this uh, situation because we see red juicy bar right here selling volume selling volume well over rsi uh, relative strength index is uh, 47 not in or but not in oversold condition but we are still not really holding our grounds when it comes to the stock price and we have seen deep right here from 571 boom we went to 546 and we are struggling uh, if you take a look, if you, if you draw a line here, yes, we're going into a little bit of a positive trajectory, but that's not enough. That's not enough. We need to go up and stay about $6 at the list. We want to come back right here, right? $5.68. Um, even better, we want to go to $5.71 and stay about that for a longer period of time, and we want to hold there. Even better, as I've been telling you, we want to go to $5.96, and we want to sustain and stay about because... When we drop from 590, we dropped massively, 544. So one price point that you want to think about is $5.90. And not just $5.90, but about $5.90 that you want to think about, right? Second thing you want to think about is what is the volume? Can we sustain about 59, 60 million um, in volume? Volume is, uh, if you're new to my channel, volume is number of stocks transacted during a trading session. So I'm not talking about weekly, I'm not talking about monthly, I'm just talking about a, in a, in a trans, uh, transaction day. So let's say on Monday, how many stocks were transacted, right? Something like that. We want to stay about, once again, 60 million here, and we want to start making higher highs. We did not really have any higher highs. Take a look, 615 or 616, 604, 586, 592, 559. We want to see consistently higher highs, and that's how we roll. So I wanted to quickly share this information with you. You don't. You want to be concerned. You want to be cautious. You want to stop and don't come near 500 feet of neo stock. I personally don't necessarily uh, agree. If you don't agree as well, hit the like button because we need to share this with more and more people because sentiment does not define how the company does, but it does define how the stock performs. And right now the stock is suffering. I hope you like this uh, insights. I hope you like this video. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, wish you all the best in investing in NEO. And again, thanks for watching. See you.